Narcissists will suffer greatly if they lose this valuable thing. They may even die suddenly. Narcissists, following their customary pattern, frequently diminish those they perceive as beneath them as they glide arrogantly through their deceptive world. They hold the misguided belief that their constructed personas are divine beings deserving of reverence and admiration. The weight of this illusion rests squarely on their shoulders. When they're struck by the startling realization that the super empath has risen to join a gathering of other formidable entities, they find themselves once again abandoned in the desolate expanse of Disappointment City, their broken and dusty selves left in the aftermath. The narcissist remains unable to cope with the loss of their ego booster, the super empath, and this incapacity is enduring. We want to express our sincere gratitude for your presence here today. We appreciate the time you've dedicated to be with us. To all our new subscribers, a warm welcome. We're delighted that you've chosen to become part of our community. And to those returning, it's a pleasure to share moments with you once again. For newcomers who find our content relevant, we encourage you to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Narcissists are characterized by their lack of foresight. They find solace in their misguided journeys, often oblivious to the impending disaster. Despite a history of failed relationships, they seem incapable of learning from their mistakes. It's only when the super empath, a pivotal part of their existence, departs, that they begin to fathom the enormity of their loss. Initially, their foresight is sorely lacking and they display indifference to the consequences of their actions. Many continue to delude themselves, seeing themselves as near deities. They're convinced that their divine power will ensure perpetual success, and that their extraordinary empathic supply, seemingly bestowed by a higher power, will always be at their disposal. They don't anticipate the challenges that come with replacing this source of emotional sustenance. Nonetheless, with the passage of time, the harsh reality becomes increasingly undeniable, a factor often overlooked. Essentially, the narcissist functions as a ticking time bomb of consequences. They inevitably reap what they have sown. It is impossible to possess a super empath, mistreat or dismiss them, disregarding their worth and expect no repercussions. The consequences are inevitable and the narcissist will undeniably experience their ramifications. Anxiety sets in when narcissists realize that super empaths are not as readily available as they initially presumed, much like low-hanging fruit on a tree. Super empaths are a rare breed, not individuals encountered daily. Unfamiliar with this sensation, the narcissist is overwhelmed by desperation upon this unexpected revelation. They hastily pursue numerous substitutes in an attempt to compensate for their reduced supply. However, these alternatives are generally of inferior quality, falling far short of their previous superhuman empathy. These subpar replacements are easily accessible and ubiquitous, akin to low-hanging fruit found on a tree. Yet, as they navigate these new connections, the narcissist encounters an unexpected revelation. They discover, to their astonishment, that these substitutes often mirror their own damaging behaviours and characteristics. On occasion, they even realise that these replacements are narcissists themselves, reflecting their own self-centred perspective. Narcissists find themselves utterly perplexed when the ultra-empathetic individual does not approach them for reconciliation or to return to their side. The current circumstances deviate from the preconceived mental script in which they held the central, highly coveted role. This departure from their imagined narrative induces a state of bewilderment and chaos within them. Their initial perplexity swiftly transforms into profound resentment and intense envy. They are confounded by how the super empath, whom they once perceived as inferior, departed without returning. 
This revelation about their own inadequacy in the absence of the super-empath deeply affects them, pushing them perilously close to a state of psychological turmoil. The narcissist eventually develops an unhealthy fixation on the super-empath who slipped through their fingers and never came back. This fixation not only underscores their personal deficiencies, but also serves as a constant reminder of the invaluable asset they lost and their failure to reclaim it. Once this intense fixation on the super-empath takes hold, the narcissist may resort to surveillance and monitoring, employing tactics like harassment and espionage. They utilize their new, readily available, supper substitutes to spy on the super-empath, gathering intelligence about their activities. Furthermore, they deploy manipulated individuals, often referred to as flying monkeys, to act on their behalf. Desiring to re-establish a connection and reintegrate into the super-empath's life, the narcissist becomes consumed by this desire. They go to great lengths to gauge the super-empath's current emotions and responses. However, when their efforts prove futile, they suffer yet another blow to their ego. This lack of success triggers episodes of narcissistic rage, which they then unleash on anyone unfortunate enough to cross their path. Additionally, the narcissist employs triangulation by using the super-empath's name to manipulate those around them. They exploit the attributes of the super-empath in the hope that this association will bolster their own emotional resources, as if it were a means to acquire more sophisticated emotional fuel. They continuously invoke the name of the super-empath, extending their own identity in an attempt to attract additional sources of supply. Despite their absence, the narcissist still perceives the super-empath as a constant presence within their consciousness. The narcissist's fixation on the super-empath becomes all-consuming, rendering them unable to reset or regain equilibrium. The mental acrobatics they perform internally only contribute to their gradual deterioration. As they view things through the lens of stark dichotomies, categorizing them as either good or evil, the narcissist experiences a sense of inferiority. They are now surrounded by inferior emotional support, while the super-empath, their superior emotional source, remains unaffected, living their life to the fullest. The super-empath's indifference further fuels the narcissist's obsession. The wisest approach is to await the narcissist's response. It's essential to understand that patience is not a struggle for the narcissist. They are highly adept at patiently biding their time for a return. Consequently, they adopt a passive stance and observe, maintaining a vigilant posture while anticipating the right moment to re-enter the super empath's world. They mentally formulate strategies and orchestrate their return eagerly awaiting the ideal opportunity to reassert themselves into the super empath sphere. The realm inhabited by the super empath becomes the narcissist's stage, where they continually scan for signs of vulnerability or an opening to reclaim their former position. Narcissists will persistently exercise vigilant control over the super empath, often employing techniques that were established during the more harmonious phases of their relationship. The methods for monitoring the super-empath were set in place prior to the love-bombing phase. It's crucial to understand that narcissists consider their emotional supply as indispensable as oxygen. It holds the same significance to their survival as water and sustenance do for the rest of the organism. Nevertheless, Caution is highly recommended, as narcissists are entirely devoid of shame. They can orchestrate crises to lure the super-empath back into their chaotic realm. These actions are merely attempts to gauge the super-empath's emotional state, a kind of emotional temperature check. It is crucial to stand strong amidst these challenging circumstances. This current phase is commonly referred to as the Hoover season, during which the narcissist endeavours to reintegrate the super-empath into their life. 
it's important to recognize that the narcissist has not altered their behavior. They neither possess the capability nor the intention to change. Their primary objective remains the re-establishment of control and power over the super-empath. I trust that the information has been enlightening and empowering for you. Understanding the complexities of narcissistic behavior is of utmost importance, equipping you with the knowledge to safeguard your well-being. I hope this knowledge contributes to your self-awareness and helps you cultivate healthier relationships. Until our next encounter, stay safe and vigilant.